Hey everyone, welcome back to another Maya tutorial. Today we're going to be creating a simple low poly gun like the one we see here. I just typed in a low poly gun, clicked on this image right here, and then clicked on that. So let's go into our side view and add an image plane. Okay, I'll make this gun a bit bigger and I'll put in a cube and x ray so that we can easily see what's behind it. Alright, so we need to give this a bit more. You can always add more later. Alright, so let's see, where should we start? Make this bit. We're going to do this part first. Um, so, start that there. And we're going to start modeling to the shape of our reference image. Um, you don't have to follow it exactly if it helps, because, you know, sometimes you just can't or something. But the closest you follow to it, the best. Okay. So we're going to do that part later. Um, let's see. Now we need to do this part right here. So I'm going to select that face. Um, I'm actually going to push this back a bit and add maybe two so far. Um, let's see how we can do this. So maybe that. Uh, we can have this dude come all the way up here. And this dude. Maybe come about there. Now we have some issues here. We can just add maybe some edge loops. So maybe, whoops, I got rid of a few. We're going to add actually some more. Press G to do your last thing again and Q to stop it. So, um, let's see. If we can maybe. bit better. Mm, okay. That should be pretty good for now. So if we go into our this view right here and hide that, you can see that it's alright, that's a pretty good shape right there. Um, this part right here might, eh, it's probably fine for now. So we can click on that again, press shift H to make it so it'll appear again. And we can start doing a few little things, such as getting maybe that face right there. And I'll extrude that maybe. Yeah, we'll. Um, just like that. that. It's okay if you don't follow it exactly. And when you're doing stuff like this, you want to... You, 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 you want to have the lines kind of not really overlapping because it'll help later on. So, let's see, should we make this one piece? I'm um, trying to think here. Sure, let's, let's go for it, and then you can add details later on. So, I'm going to extrude this, not that much. Um, okay, that should be good. And then extrude again, and get, let's see, to there, and then I'll extrude again, and have that one kind of pointing there, um, like that, and like that, and we'll fix the top in a second, okay, so, now we'll fix this. Alright, so if we go into this view, you can see um, that it's taking better shape. It's like that. Alright, I'm liking that so far. Let's go into our side and make that come back again. Let's maybe add some more details to this right here. 
Let's add the cube. Make this a bit smaller. Um, a bit shorter too. Uh, oops. Let's push some of these vertexes in just a little bit. Now that's pretty good and stored it in the middle. Let's whoa. Um push those in. Let's see if there's a better view we can look at this from. Yeah. Okay. No expert on guns. This thing's really annoying. But I think that looks pretty good. So let's show that up again. And what we can do, which is pretty helpful actually is let's say we duplicate this right now and we want to space them out properly like the same gap between them we can actually just press hold down shift and d and it will just you don't have to do it exactly to the image plane again but um let's continue doing this so we have basically all of them don't want to go over though but okay i think Let's see, we can make, let's look at this better, mm, we can make this, let's see what we should do, that stuff right there, okay, so let's see here, um, well, we want to make that line right there, so I'm going to open up this modeling um, toolkit and multi-cut, and go from here, to like here, Maybe get a bit more straight. Kind of see on the line. You can barely see the line there. Whatever though. Press enter to have that. Go back out of that for a second. And let's see. We want to have a little engrave. So, like right there. Alright. That part's kind of like bulging out a little bit. So, I'm going to make another one of these, actually, to there, then to there, it's a bit too, at an angle, okay, and press Q to stop that, and then take these faces, and extrude, mm. okay, I'm not sure if we should do that only for one side, or for both, um, I'm thinking we should do it for both actually. So what we can do is let's let's erase actually that. We can Okay, so I searched up for a lot, I tried a lot of things, and for some reason it's just not gonna work. I don't know why. But make sure you have your symmetry off, so press Q, left click, and go to symmetry and make sure it's off. Um so but we're still gonna use the edge loop because it's very helpful actually. Or not edge loop, multi-cut. Um I'm gonna make one right so about there. Go to there, go to there, press enter, and then we're going to kind of want that little thing right there. So I'm going to go about there, and then just kind of follow that line all the way down. Okay, I don't want it to snap to that vertice. There. Press enter. So we're just going to have this on one side. I guess it'll look okay. So press Q to stop multi-cutting, and let's take all these faces maybe, let's see, what should we do, I think we should push them out a tiny bit, I'll make sure, push that out, okay, oops, that was some stuff I was looking at how to try and fix our issue, um, okay, let's see, that looks pretty good, um, maybe let's do, let's do some of this stuff right here. So I'll add two cylinders. Um, oops, wrong key. Hold down J and then be able to turn that and snap it to 90 degrees. Actually, that's negative 90, but whatever. Um, I'm going to take this and make it a bit 
smaller. Uh, okay. So, let's push that out. I want it to be a bit smaller. And, okay, let's duplicate that. And put that about right there. And then we're gonna make, we're gonna make that. So, let's create another cube. Um, push this down until it's about like so. Oops. And voila. Here we have that. I'll make it a bit smaller. In fact, why don't we actually maybe. Okay, let's see. The scale of that direction is that. So let's see if we can just paste that in there. Oops. In into that value instead, I guess. Okay. So now it's the same size. And now we want that same translate okay so it didn't actually work but whatever all right that looks pretty good and then we can um um thinking that we should do that or not we can do that in a different software actually when i texture this all right so now that we have that we have to make this thing right here. So I'm gonna go into my multi cut and okay. Let's do an object mode here and click multi cut. I don't know why that's appearing. It's kind of annoying me actually. So you always need to start from a vertice for some reason when um, using your edge loop. So let's just go from there and then. Um, sorry about that annoying face. And just kinda not do that. Um, okay. There we go. I wonder if I can just click enter. Okay, it's gonna be annoying. And then maybe just close that at that vertice. Okay, and I'm gonna see if I can just, okay, there we go. So we have that shape right there, and we're also gonna make that later on. Um, okay, so we need to get those faces. Um, press Q to stop multi-cutting again. So let's shift select all of those faces, and I'm gonna extrude them out a bit, and make another one of these and rotate that 90 degrees okay let's push that there a little bit smaller and then we're gonna just go like that okay push that a bit Whoa, okay that is way too thick a bit too low so um don't want that selected let's just reselect these faces um, okay that's about equal i'm liking that hopefully we don't have any random other faces selected okay we did but i don't think that changed anything hopefully it didn't now we have that kind of um, popping out of it. Let's see what else there is. Um, we'll do we'll do the blaze thing in my next video. I'll separate it into two videos. We're gonna also do this part right here now um, because some people might not want texturing because they might not care. So let's get rid of that. And I'm gonna add one, one of those, one subdivision, and then we'll make that, make that, and uh, make it bigger, not that big. Okay. Those for my, these 
vertexes on these. What's going on? Um, it's like that again. Oh, I know why. It's because it's too deep in so that it thinks I'm trying to click that, but I'm not. So, push that there. And that there. And do that. And that. Could have actually doubled that, but I'm too late now. So now, with that thing selected, let's make it wider. Okay, for both sides. Select that, and then select that, and then go to Mesh Booleans Difference. Okay, let's see. Okay, that didn't give us any problems. Um, yeah, okay. Now we're gonna make this. So let's start off with the cylinder. Rotate that 80 degrees. Okay. You don't want to use those you um to when you're let's say from let's go back to when I was like right here. Let's say I move that there and then I decide to go like that. You don't want to do that because that will give you issues. So use that one right there. It will suit the best. Suit you the best. Okay. And I want these faces. So I'll just go all the way to here. And then extrude. Use that tool. Um, and then all the way there. Through the side. Alright, now we want to do kind of that little thing right there. So it's going to mesh tools, insert edge loop. It's really hard to see. I'm basically modeling using pixels as my reference, but it's okay. Maybe a bit wider like the other one. There, perfect. So now I'm going to select and go into this mode. Select that one and then shift click those and select that one and shift click those. You can double click it and it'll select all of the surrounding ones. And go up a bit. Now if we, if we hide that, you can see. We're gaining some more shape. Alright, so one issue. These are kind of bulging at the sides. Let's see if we can fix that. Actually, that's not gonna... Hmm. One second. There we go. My uh, cheap bandy cam I can only record um, 10 seconds. So, I mean, not 10 seconds, 10 minutes. And I didn't want to accidentally forget it on and have been modeling and talking to myself for um, a few minutes. That would not be good. Okay. Now. I'm going to do it like that. Alright. It looks pretty good. So let's view what we've done so far. Alright, I'm really liking that. It'll look, it, this stuff will stand out better once we texture it. Shame we really didn't really do it on that side. You could, if you want to, just do all this on that side. But you can't really view it from the side. Unless, I mean, we could rotate the entire thing, but just to make this go faster and not have it a 60 minute video, we'll just keep it like that and see what is next. I think that was all for the side. There is kind of that right there. Let's, let's look at um, this. But it's not really that distinctive. I mean, you could add that if you want. But just to make this video not 10 hours, I'm not going to do that. So, I'm going to work on this part down here. We're going to do those. Um, Alright. So, let's do this. Let's see, how should we do this? I think we should create a cube. Um, also, this will be riggable too. Like the whole ammo thing. You'll be able to take this out and put that back in. Not sure about making this. Actually, you know what? We can do something. 
to make it better. Uh, perhaps, let's see if this will work, because this would make it really easy. Okay, yeah, it's not going to work. So let's go into our multi-cut, and go from there, and then go all the way to the end, press enter, and then let's see. About there, let's just let's just do that. So we have this top part right here, mm, and it was kind of a bit smaller. So it's the only thing is not going to be on that side. So let's see. One thing I can do to maybe help me get this exact. Press Q. Get that thing. Um, okay. It's a really strange way of doing it, but whatever. Um, multi cut, and okay, there, all the way to. Um, let's see, let's do that. Maybe we want it more straighter than that. Um, there, okay. I like that. So, go to the object mode, delete that, and now we should have it basically close enough on both sides. So I'll take these faces. Make sure you don't select any other faces accidentally. It happens a lot and will ruin your model. You might not even see it happen. It might be a, f um, a face that is kind of obstructed from view, and much later on it will have ruined your project. And it's really annoying. So somehow it deselected those. Okay, so I don't really see anything too bad. Um, okay, let's see if we just go like that. Um, why is it doing that? So there, it's doing what I want. Um, don't know why. There. Okay, maybe it was doing it and I wasn't seeing it. Probably because we have more on that like that. So, okay. That looks... Just hide this really annoying thing. Um, okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, yeah, add that back in. But basically, what you could do is you could maybe make this part into a separate piece, and then you could have you know kind of go back for when you're firing. But since I'm not animating, I'm just modeling. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so this actually won't need any subdivisions. We can just take that face, put it there. Take that face, put it there, and. That there and that there. And that looks pretty good, okay. Wondering if we should let's let's do it. Okay. Let's take that face. And yeah, why does that put that in the most annoying place possible? Into the middle there, and then extrude and there. Okay. So It's okay. What we could maybe do to make this look better, take all of those, shift selecting them, and go to double that maybe. Oh my god, I really hate that thing. Mm, that right there. We should maybe put that back in a little bit. Or just, nah. I think we should just move that. There. It's so basically. What you could do is you could, you know, detach it, because it'll be a separate piece. And I might rotate this a little bit. It's kind of... Actually, maybe rotate it the other way. Try and make it look better. There, okay. That looks okay. And it um, isn't really having any issues. I don't think I see any issues of the connection right there. 
So what we can do um, is add that little thing. So it's going to mesh, insert edge loop. Um, oops. Okay. Looks good. And did it on both sides. So take that face and that one right there and just extrude it in a little bit. Not too much. But enough so that you can really kind of see that. Okay, what happened down there? Let's go back a bit. To before we had done that. Then put it in. Okay. Looks just as good. But with no crazy errors. Alright. Um, let's see what's next. We should do this part right here. So let's create a cube. Um, I'm not sure if I should do like a whole subdivision thing or not. I'm not going to actually. I'm going to do this model this a different way than a way I did it up there. This is just another way of modeling. If it may be better at it, I don't know. I don't like it as much, but, um, yeah, kind of did a little bit of it earlier. Whoops. But, basically, instead of just, you know, creating a big cube and then giving it subdivisions and doing that, we just kind of extrude. Um, let's see. And then maybe try and get it. So, um, then I want to get that face. We'll we'll change the how it looks later. Um, go like so. Okay, I'm gonna redo my thing. All right. So now, hopefully, it's the same. Okay, that is a little problem. see if this is the correct size. Okay, not bad. Maybe we can put that up a little bit so it kind of goes in the middle. Let's see, if we were to take that out, as you can see, it kind of, you know, that'll be floating in midair. So, maybe if I push that up, make it a bit smaller. Because I want to be able to have that showing. Okay. See, basically, you don't need to go exactly the same as your reference. Just whatever helps your model. Okay, I'm liking that. And now, if we take that off, we still have that. It's a bit close to the edge. You can make it however you like. Maybe I'll push it up a little bit. Take that off. Okay, yeah, I like that. this. Now we need to make that. So we'll create a cube. Um, why is the modeling toolkit open? And add some of those. Or actually, why not? I'll do maybe more of the previous kind of weird modeling. Um, well, I mean, it's not weird, but I don't know. It's not my personal preference. This is just an easy way to select that face right there without having to go into other views. Um, let's do it from this side right now. Mm, okay. And then take these vertexes. And do that. And now we have an oversized trigger. Let's see. It's because we resized that, but not that one, because we modeled it to the same size. Alright. Let's see. It's a bit small. And people have fingers. Okay. So what we can do is we can actually press D, 
and make this go up there. So if we were to rotate that, you kind of see it rotates from maybe a hinge up there. And you could make that a bit taller. In fact, why don't we... Um, if I make that... I'm going to extrude it and make it taller. If we were to rotate that, you see it kind of... Oops. I want the red one. It kind of looks... If we go too far, then that will show up. So just don't go too far, I guess. Um, so yeah. That is that part. And we want to do maybe this. Um, Alright. So we'll do another one of that. Because it looks like it could probably be easier to do it for this part that we're doing. So... Vertex and put it there. Actually, we want we want to make it pretty straight when you're doing this kind of modeling. Okay, we want to get that face. Oops, did it wrong. It was, you want to go through the middle. You don't want to let this box go over there. Otherwise, it'll deselect the face that we've been trying to select. So let's do it from this side, I guess, because this side's more complicated. Um. Doing it from that oops, side, when I say that, I mean, you know, when we extrude this, caring about that side, because it's faster. And you want to do it on the side. Oops. That's more difficult, because then you... Oh my god, what is going on? Is that face getting, like, selected? I mean, deselected or something? Um, I don't understand what's going on. Okay, better not be doing some crazy crap on me. See, we, it's selected, but then... Whatever. Extrude. Put that there. I completely forgot what I was saying. Oh, maybe because... Because then you know for sure you have enough vertices for whatever you're doing. Um, all right, let's go to object mode, hide that, let's see, we were smooth that, it, what is this, it's two separate pieces? That is odd. Um, well, let's put it back up. That is really odd. I think I might have duplicated something. So, this is all one piece, but I think it's... Let's see if that goes there. Okay, yeah. We can safely delete that. And put that there. Okay, so we smooth it. It's not looking too good. If I want to see, actually, we smooth this. Okay, that's pretty bad, actually. Um, we might end up smoothing it. We might not end up smoothing it. I'm not sure. I might. It makes things kind of look a bit better. But, but see, it's not really... If we look at a gun, they're not really smooth. They're kind of blocky, so... <laughs> we're not going to actually smooth it. I think it looks better like this. So I think that's basically... All of this, we can maybe add, maybe I'll make that a little smaller, a little grip, perhaps. Um, okay, so I kind of cut the video there, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a proper grip this time. Um, I created two versions, and I didn't like them, so we're going to tr try and make another one. This time, symmetry is actually going to work, though. There might have been some weird distortion issue before, I'm not sure. But let's go to multi-cut, go into our side view, and we're, we want this side to be the um, kind of grip. So, I don't know, maybe it's a gun grip. Um, let's see if I can kind of explain. We're going to kind of just create a little, not like that, I don't know. You'll see. So, let's see. So 
so I'll be okay. And it also actually did on both sides. Well, uh, Alright. Let's press Q so we can stop multi cutting. And get rid of symmetry. And take these faces. Okay. Let's make sure we didn't select any on the top. And we did not. Alright. So now I'm going to extrude that using this right here. Wait, what's going on? Something happened. Stuff like that happens when you have. Yep, see? When you have other faces that you do not want selected, selected. That's why you always want to pay attention. So let's extrude again. This time using a blue arrow. Yeah, that's what we need to use. Okay, you don't you want it very minimal, but now we have this kind of distinction right here. And what we'll do is we'll kind of make maybe a checkered kind of you know kind of design in our next video. So now we have this part basically completely finished, I think. I mean, it looks pretty good. I don't really... That part kind of there looks weird. Let's say we were to render this. See how it looks rendered. Okay, we have no lights. But it'll look better when we textured it. Um, if you want, what you could kind of do is you could maybe take these faces. I don't know. If you really want to. And maybe... bring them in somehow a little bit. I'm not really sure. Oops. But I'm just, I like the way it looks, so I'm going to keep it like that. Um, let's turn this back on. So now, we have this entire thing finished, which is good. Um, I think we should do this part now, because we kind of, you know, started it already. And let's see what we should do. I think we should have... Let's see if we can create an edge loop. Sometimes it works. Okay, it's kind of doing weird stuff. Because this is kind of connected to that, so... It has issues. So I'm thinking we... Sort of try. Let's try. And maybe... Um, I'm not sure. Maybe we can turn symmetry on like just for that. Probably not though. Let's try and multi-cut. Um, here. And then down. Okay. Press enter. Turn symmetry off. And okay, it actually worked. I don't know what was happening there. Maybe someone who is smarter than me can figure it out in the comments. Okay, sorry for the cut. I was just trying to figure some stuff out. And I did basically of how we're going to do that part right there really easily. And so, um, I kind of already did a little tiny thing. And I tried to revert it super far back. But um, we're just going to select all of that. And then some other stuff gets selected in the process that we don't want. So... Make sure, it might look a tiny bit different for you because of what I was doing. Make sure you have basically all of this selected, um, bottom as well, and push it in enough. Um, okay, that's, that's good enough. And then, let's see if the other thing was throwing issues this time. Uh, that face. Okay. Party ruiners are here. Um, I'm trying to think how I fixed it. I can take those vertexes. And just go like that. I think is what I did. Something with a vertex. Okay. Make that exact. Perfect. So now we have that bottom part like there is there. And if we go into our side view, um, I also saved it as rifle. 
Um, so we're going to make that part there actually oops, a separate piece. So we're going to make a cylinder as well so that it can be I don't know, cylindrical. Let's hold GA and then that so we can snap it on 15 degree snaps. Um, make it basically that big and we're going to take that face right there and no, actually mesh tools insert edge loop right there take those faces um, we can just make it like that okay and then push it up um okay i want it i want those faces good is it doing something i think it's doing So, as well, like that, and like that, okay, that should be pretty good, um, I just extrude that, like that, and let's see, okay, one other thing, let's do this. See, we have this. Um, what are the errors here? Let's take that. Push it in a little bit. So we can have it more circular. Mm, okay, this is a bit different than all my other tutorials, making something a bit bigger. Alright, I like that. Now we want to make a hole. So let's do edit mesh, double that. Take that face, make it hmm, that much bigger, and then extrude down. So, I guess we're not going to do any other inside things. Let's see. Okay, that'll look good enough. Yeah, okay, I'm not going to do anything complicated. I was going about to do. So that's, that's good enough. Looks like it's smoothed, but it's not. See, if we were to smooth that, that's what it would look like actually. So never mind. It's, it's okay. It's good. Um Ollie? Sorry about that, someone came into my room. Okay, so now that we have that, let's continue on. Make this viewable again. Um let's give edge loops, so oops. What did I just click? An edge loop. Um Just do this. Mm, okay. Looking okay. So if we take a look. Okay. One other thing that would have been easier actually to do a second ago would be to, press Q by the way to stop edge looping, would be to make this bit. This might also help actually with another thing I want to try and do. Mm, and that. So hopefully I didn't take anything else with it. I didn't. Um, make that a bit smaller like that, and then maybe we take it No, okay. What we're gonna do is um, put the symmetry on, go to side view, and go to mesh tools, insert edge loop, and it kind of has like a little turn, you know what I mean? And let's turn symmetry off now, and take, let's take that, but we don't want that. And we don't, oops, interesting, it only takes, okay, don't want that, and we don't want some things in the front, do we, no, we don't want that, 
or that, or that, or that. Um, and let's see if we can maybe do something with that. Okay. So now, mm, everyone's behaving, and that is kind of rotated for when we extrude all of those. So let's take symmetry back on, side view, and take, I hope this is selecting the other side. Oops. Um, yay, it worked. Okay, let's turn symmetry off. And extrude these out a little bit. Okay. And now they're also. Let's, why is this grid on? Usually I turn my grid off. Um, kind of at a little angle too, which is what I wanted. And now we need to make all of those holes. So, cube. Make it a lot smaller. Um, and then, one second, I'm gonna, not yet, duplicate that to there, and then shifty, 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 and hope I did it, I wanted it to, and great, all of those. Need to be selected. Okay. Okay. We want this to go all the way through, so we want it to be appearing on both sides. And okay, we need to edit this a little bit actually. So that's okay. That's okay. That. Not okay. That's not okay. Um, that one's not okay. That one was okay. That one. Oops. You now I just realized we want all of these to be on the same height. Okay, why is that on? Okay, probably is. Might have ruined it. I'm not sure. Hopefully. When you did it, you did it properly, unlike me. <laughs> Alright, now we want to select this, and then, actually. Hey, okay, so I didn't notice it, and my timer went over 10 minutes, and so I was talking to myself for a few minutes. I went all the way back until where I could, and I made all of these. I just went to mesh, and then combined them. So now... I can select basically that, and then that is all one piece. But to mesh booleans difference, and now we have those holes that will go all the way through. Um, what else I did was I just did that part right there, and then I did that, and I was starting on that. That's all. Okay, so um, let's turn symmetry on again. And multi-cut. Okay, we're going to make this little thing. Press enter. Um, do it again. Okay. Um, press Q to stop. Get that face. Turn symmetry off. And then extrude. Tiny bit. Okay. Now we have that on both sides. And next we're going to do that, so let's make a cylinder, um, J, that, and then, okay, like that, and then that, and then mesh, billions, difference, great, now we're gonna do, um, those, so, let's go here, they're snapping, 
going to make that the same height and then just stretch it out. Okay, we can actually do it the same method I was going to do the other one. I mean, how I did those. So duplicate, duplicate, and duplicate. Just like, oops, there are a lot here. So those, I, I think those are cylinders. They might be in squares, but this might be... I think they're cylinders. I'm going to hope they are. So, let's select those three cylinders. Go to mesh, combine. Go into our perspective view. Um, let's see. Actually, all of those need to be out. And then, just like that. Mesh boolean's difference. And now, we have, let's, let's hide that, completed um, a lot of the gun. So, with that. And there is basically, so we did all that. Now we need to do the back part. So that actually looks pretty good, I have to say. Um, you might, yours might look probably not identical, but um, there's no vertices or faces acting up, and it's all good. All right. So now for the last part, let's put this back on Shift H. And let's see how we're going to do this. So I think we should make this right here one piece. So let's start off doing that. And then we'll do that. So let's see. Actually, yeah, it'll look really good. Well, not fantastic, you know, I'm not a professional. But it'll look better than having one of those and then a piece right there. So let's see how we should do this. Um, that vertex, put that there. That there. Um, can I do that other version of 3D modeling as well? That I don't like, but it's probably easier to follow along with. Um, I'm thinking we... Okay, I have an idea. So, I think I just duplicated it. Yeah, okay. That's what I accidentally did when I had that weird thing with the... that thing from before. So, now that we have that, let's duplicate it, and we're gonna... Oh my god. Extrude it, I mean. And go along this side. I duplicate it. Extrude. I don't know why I keep accidentally pressing that button. Okay. Let's mm -hmm. get a look like it's one piece. This top part. Make that as straight as possible. Okay. Um, so we have that back piece. Should look. Let's see what we should do here. Not sure if we should keep it super. Um, I don't know if we should smooth it or not. I'm gonna think let's see first let's do this and then I'm gonna I'm gonna think what I'm gonna do um let's add edge loops right there actually that did not work out so we're gonna hope this works with symmetry and get our multi cut oops multi cut 
kind of going up there. Actually, I kind of want it at an angle. Kind of just not exactly straight. Okay, press enter. Um, and then kind of just follow along the back part. Press enter, press Q to stop. Get rid of that so we have more space. I'm not sure if I can, I can just do that. And push the outliner, which you can make up here by clicking that, by the way. Um, let's get these faces. Still symmetry on. Let's turn that off. And what the hell? Okay. Now, actually, I think we should do something for the top. Let me see. Yeah, the top needs that as well. Which is just fantastic because. How are we gonna do that? Can we even? <laughs> um. I'll take it. We can take from that vertice though. And let's see if we get a top view. Put it. Hey, it's perfect. Okay. Press enter. Take that. And then go to there. Press enter. Or not. I think I pressed something else accidentally. Center now. Okay, there we go. That. You also need to do the same thing for the bottom, though. Mm. Oops. I'm gonna go to there. Press enter. I want to start from there. Go to there. Press enter. Okay. Now let's press Q. Disable that. And shift double click there. Or not. I guess it didn't select all of it. But we can just go around then. And then extrude this uh, into the middle. That's a bit much. There we go. That's good. We smooth that. Looks horrific. Um, God, I hate this image plane. Okay. I think this should be not smooth. So if, I, if I were to, what I could do is I could always add divisions and then smooth it. You know what? That doesn't look too bad, actually. I think we're going to keep it like that. So let's actually smooth it. Oops. Mesh. Smooth. And then... Alright, I guess you didn't watch the time again. Anyways, so all I did was I went to Mesh Smooth right there. And now we have that, and it looks better. We're going to do the same thing for this if it hopefully works. Um, it might not because of the booleans, and that usually messes stuff up, but we can try. Add divisions. Smooth. Yeah, I see that kind of fucks everything up with that. So, let's go back to before we had those divisions. And we're not going to smooth that. But this part being smooth, I think, is great because it's usually made for comfort and I think so is that perhaps anyways the rest of this part is kind of blocky I'm not exactly sure what that is actually what is that um, I guess it's just something uh, I'm not sure if that would look good smooth perhaps let's do that part now though so let's not create a cylinder Easier to follow along, we're gonna do this kind of 3D modeling. And, um, I don't know how long we've been recording for, or I have, but seems like this is gonna be quite a long video. I highly doubt most people have made it this far, but if you have, thank you. Let me know by saying. 
goat in the chat. I mean, not in the in, in the comment section because some dedication right there. So let's add division. Adding division makes it so that it smooths better and so that it kind of retains its real shape better. So I kind of like that. Let's see, actually, how does it connect? Good enough. Uh, okay. For this, how should we do this? I'm thinking we create this as one piece, and then we do the Boolean difference to get rid of those, and then have something that goes there, but it's a bit smaller, and maybe I'll, it's, it'll look good as a cylinder, so yeah, that's what we'll do for that. Mm, just do that same kind of 3D modeling thing. Um, I'm starting to like it now, oops, too, as well. So actually, extrude it. Um, this one I'll do. I'll actually, I'll extrude that, but make it so it fits there, and then extrude. Don't worry about that. Extrude. But, okay. Oops. I think I duplicated it again. <laughs> Oops. Gonna hope I didn't. But of course, I did. Um, let's see, I want that to be on its zero. Fix the top now. Oh, that's interesting. Might give us some problems. Let's see. Great. You always got a lot of problems. to look good for when we, um, what is it called, UV map this, sort of, we're gonna, we're gonna do a sort of, kind of simple UV mapping, you no know, complicated seams, since this is supposed to be a simple video, I don't think I've done anything out of the ordinary that's too hard to do. It's just this process of making again, so I think I selected that one right there, that was right. Well, I don't want that one, I want this one. Yeah, okay. And... Okay. There. Um, we're gonna... Edge... No, not edge. Multi-cut this, I mean. Symmetry on... Mm, multi cats. And another one, I think. Yeah, sure. Okay, so let's see. Um, uh, we need to make that. Smaller, so let's get rid of symmetry and extrude those um, to make them. Okay, that's an issue. Uh, let's see, before we extrude, Just in 
extrude and then in what it looks like. You might have to do weird stuff not to work. Okay, that's okay. And We always have a party pooper. But I think that'll look good. It's going to be good. Yeah. Up a bit, maybe. Out of rotation. And. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm liking that. So now. Make this, let's see. This is supposed to be. What are we modeling again? This, okay. So it looks like that's supposed to just be like that. So let's actually make this a bit easier by making this first. Okay. Duplicate, 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 and this one's important because we want this to be thing connecting that properly to that. Okay, so mesh boolean I mean combine. Okay. Um, these need to all be longer. Don't worry about that. Uh, let's select this, and then that, and then go to mesh. Billions difference, don't select that. And actually, before mesh separates, I want that guy. Why is maybe a bit longer? Oops. Okay, well, something happened. Hmm. If we are able to just take that face, I want to just whatever. Okay, I think that'll look better now. So mesh combine. Okay, select that and then that and then mesh boolean's difference. Hmm. Stop that at the last second. Um, okay. Maybe I think that'll that will be pretty good length. Looks like it's connecting onto that sort of. And I'm not really sure. If, maybe if I push that in a little bit too. Okay, that looks good to be like that. Now, this is looking really well. Um, one other thing we're going to do for the modeling is we're going to give this a scope because this doesn't have one and I kind of want to put one on. It's not, we don't have a reference sort of image for it. Whatever. I'm going to push that back a bit. And stretch that out. Okay. Okay, I like that. Um, okay, so this actually, I am an idiot. Uh, that is actually going to be destroyed. I just realized it, because what we need, remember, for our cylinder, which is going to be a separate part right there. I am an idiot. Oh my god. Okay, I wish I could just like being able to see the stuff right there would be really helpful um, let's see I can always just delete that but that won't look good actually um, this is really annoying I've been forever doing that and what 
whatever. I guess we're gonna create our own, maybe? No, we can't. It has to match. It has to match. We can make it perhaps bigger. Let's see. We need to make it at least the same size. Not bigger, okay. We want to get the bottom one too. So, let's see. Where even is it? Is that it down there? That is it. We had all those issues just for it to not matter. Let's see, that might create some problems. Actually, I know why. It's because that should be longer. Okay, good enough. Mesh billions difference. Okay, let me see. That's pretty bad. Hopefully. Maybe randomly skip the head. Hello, random person. Um, hopefully, you didn't screw it up like I did. Mesh booleans difference. I uh, don't like how that's happening. But it will actually not really show. Because we're going to have a hefty cylinder. is annoying. And also, that is supposed to be resting um, on it. Uh, so, it'll be a, let's see, this should maybe Sides. Now what is that? Mesh booleans difference. Um, why is that happening? Oh, maybe because that was selected. Okay, mesh booleans difference. Okay. So now we have that. That will be cover up though. When we let's see if we smooth that. Um. more smooth we'll do it. There, I'm liking that. That part's not well. Okay. Now we got to Okay, sorry for that cut, but um, we're not going to do a cylinder. We're going to do a cube. The cylinder does not match well enough and will not look good. This will probably look better, so let's do this instead. Um... It's not because of things we did in the past. So, okay. otherwise, 
It's a pretty okay connection. So, now we're gonna do the scope. So let's see, this is a, uh, I don't like that scope. We're not making a sniper. Something like that might be good. It's, what the hell? Okay, boop. No, let's just now get a gun scope. Um, let's try and type in a low poly gun scope because maybe that'll show more game things. These are all like sniper scopes. We could maybe make something sort of similar. I'm thinking something like this. In fact, we can also add that right there. Um, actually, I'll make that for my next gun. Let's make this right here. So, I'm thinking we put it where this is. We can just delete. A few dudes and have an attachment right here. So let's see. That starts off as a cube. With 3D modeling, basically, you just gotta turn everything into simple geometry objects and go from there. So that's a bit all what I did. I'll make a video next on how to model this. It's more of an SMG, and I'll have a laser pointer and stuff in there. Alright, um, let's kind of do that right there. Um, well, okay. So, also flip back and forth with your reference images a lot, like how I'm doing. I'm thinking we just go up. I think that will be annoying though, but we'll figure it out actually. Um, mesh tools, insert a few edge loops, and see that that is probably not needed. Let's take those for why is what's going on? Being annoyed here, Maya. Oh, we had edge loops on. Okay. Press Q to stop doing that. Let's see, would these be the correct ones? To do that on? Yeah. Okay, now. I'm thinking we put a cube through this. get the, or actually, an easier way. You know what, let's also take that edge right there, oops, and push it up a bit. I'll have it at the top. Take those faces and those and maybe extrude. Difference thing. It'll look better. Let's see if we can get a better view of this. Okay, no, we don't want to do that because that'll make things uneven. Um, this is where we're gonna have our scope thing through. So this and then that kind of snake now. Boolean's difference. Okay. Now, um, if I were to view that from the front, okay, that does not show that up. Let's see. Let's add our scope. I will put the download file in the description if you would like to download this project, by the way. Um, okay, we can we can fix that. Let's see. Get a bit larger. Um, okay. 
resting on them. About resting. There. Okay. Now let's do something with all of these. Let's see if we can maybe make this as symmetrical as possible. How could we fix this dilemma? Perhaps not do... Um, what we could do is... Maybe this will look good? Um, not really sure. Is that all one base? I wonder. It's kind of really hard to see that. Uh, we were to just... Do that, and take that top, and bring it down through, maybe. This probably will mess everything up if we were to texture it. But, um, extrude. That looks okay. And then that edge. Does that go all the way there? Okay, I'm really hoping this goes through. Mm hmm. Okay. So it looks like a pretty good holder now. It's kind of a bit bulgy, but whatever. So maybe put that out and see. That's okay. But that isn't there. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. If we were to perhaps render that, um, I just don't want any of those crazy edges I've had to deal with. But it doesn't look like there is any, except for. Stop selecting things I don't want you to select. Except for this whole blob of annoyance. How did I do that? I don't even know. What did I press? Hmm. Okay. Maybe we can take that face and that face and maybe push it in a little bit. See how this looks. I don't really like that, but um, you can do whatever you want. Maybe I'll just... Okay, we're not gonna... Okay, let's see if we have any crazy things happen. One thing I just realized we just made was super small, so I'm going to combine that. I'm going to try something. Okay. That did was, it probably, yep, yeah, okay. Hopefully, this looks okay. Mm -hmm. Time ran out again. Okay, so I'm thinking we should make that a bit taller. What did I press? Otherwise, that looks okay. But we can't have just like that. Let's see if this scope will simply has. Okay. Um, edge loops.
whatever you like here. Maybe I'll maybe add a little tiny bit of detail. And otherwise, I think let's let's take all those. Alright, that looks better. And take all that. And just do that a bit. Okay. Now, I think we have finished our gun. Let's see. If I were to hold that about right there and look through the scope, would that be a good scope? Probably not. But, let's see. Maybe we were... Let's see, we made that bigger. See, I don't want to look too ugly and huge. Because what we could do is we can always wrap it around the side. Kind of looks like it is, actually. And we can actually even do like that. And obviously change it to however you like. Or just smooth that, how would that look? Let's see, edit mesh, add divisions, smooth. And there's not enough edge loops. This will help retain its shape better for when okay, something happened there. Let's go back, 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 back. Back, back. Far do we have to go back? I think to when we added those divisions is when it screwed it up. Yep, okay. That's better. Mm -hmm. Now we could maybe take. What is going on? Oh, freaking edge loops. Okay. What is going on? I want the edge loops or faces of that. Let's extrude. Mm, to up in there. Extrude no, no, up. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. Scratch that. think that looks okay. Um, let's see, we don't have that much detail on this side, but we, you could add some if you want. But now, basically, you could be holding that, you know, right there. This moves back and forth when you're firing, you know, swap the mags, whatever. But there we go. That is our simple rifle in my tutorial. That uh, wasn't, you know, we didn't make, you know, some, I don't know, crazy, okay, that's not a really good idea, you know, some crazy, super detailed, crazy crap, I don't know, like, you know, that, maybe I'll do that in a later video, but anyways, thank you so much for watching, and in the next video, we will texture this and make it look a bit better, so yeah, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.